Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm a professional family therapist. I've been doing that for 31 years and I've observed, been observing us human people for 73 years. I'm triggered to make this video by having just caught sight of another YouTube video about the characteristic of emotional abusers. That motivates me to tell you what I've learned about the great widespread misunderstanding of what is called emotional or psychological abuse and abusers. Much of what is mistakenly called abuse is really aggression. There have to be three things true in order for abuse to really be abuse. So the first thing I want to offer here is uh, when you hear the phrase emotional abuse, what it really should be in all likelihood, unless the receiver is a child, a minor child, or someone mentally or physically disabled. If the receiver of the behavior is not either one of those, it is not emotional abuse. It is emotional aggression. You might say, oh, big deal, abuse, aggression, who cares? I care. Uh, try this out. If you are, if you feel you are the victim of any kind of abuse, not just psychological or emotional abuse, you're apt to lose sight of who you are and what has happened to you. You're likely to get into a mindset saying, oh, poor me, I'm a victim. You're missing a chance to learn about yourself and to defend yourself. Okay? If you are accused of being an emotionally abusive, you're likely, understandably, to get defensive, hostile, reactive, and either distance yourself or increase your aggression. That also is missing what you really need to know about yourself. If you, if you think or others think you are abusive, they label you an abuser, almost certainly you come from a low nurturance family of origin. You were severely traumatized, significantly traumatized as a very young child, age zero through five, six, seven. You carry some significant psychological wounds, up to six identifiable psychological wounds. You are probably in denial of your trauma and your wounds and what the wounds mean. One of the things they mean is it is causing you to be aggressive with some people, or maybe many people, including possibly your own children. So there's widespread misunderstanding of emotional slash psychological abuse. <clears throat> what I want to offer here in this video is a wake-up call. If you either feel you are being victimized by emotional or psychological abuse, or you are accused of being emotionally or psychologically abusive, then you probably came from a low nurturance family. You probably were traumatized and have either protectively forgotten that or you deny it or you minimize it. I urge you, for your sake and the sake of others around you, including your kids if you have any, study lesson one in my nonprofit website, which is about how people become wounded as vulnerable young children, how to recognize if you are wounded, and if you are, what the wounds mean, and how to reduce them, and how to protect your kids if you have any. Study lesson one and the related YouTube videos for your sake and your descendants' sake. Secondly, if you feel you are a victim and or if you're accused of abuse, study lesson two on my website and the related videos. They will show you how to assert your needs respectfully, firmly, and effectively with all other people not just aggressive people, problem people of all types, 
learn how to communicate, assert, listen, and problem solve effectively. Notice your reaction to what I've just said. If, you're, if your reaction may start out, yes, but you are probably ruled by a well-intentioned false self, not your true self. Your true self would say, oh, this is useful information. I think I'm going to apply this. Study lesson one, study lesson two. Notice the benefits on your life and the people around you. Thanks for watching.